Father Ken Lau, and welcome again to another episode of Nuggets for the Soul. And I would just like to share with you, uh, when I was growing up in the Philippines, as a teenager, I couldn't wait to get my driver's license. And uh, so when I got my driver's license, I remember my, my uncle giving me this uh, calling card. And it's, uh, it's a calling card of a chief of police in, 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 the, in the Philippines. And uh, he said that, you know, when I get caught by the police, just show that and I will be able to get away. Uh, so one time I was driving, I got caught by the police. I got pulled over and I forgot to bring the, driver, the, 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 the calling card. So when the police was asking for my driver's license, I said, wait, 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 do you know who my uncle is? And, uh, and I said, wait, I'm gonna give him a call. So I called up my uncle and I told him about what happened. And I told the police, let's, let's just wait, you know, my uncle will come. And uh, so after a few minutes, the police gave me back the, the, the driver's license. And uh, I guess he was afraid that uh, my backer, my uncle is like a chief of police or something. And uh, uh, so uh, I, I'm glad that uh, my, my, my uncle didn't arrive earlier because if he arrived earlier, uh, the police would, would have given me the, 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 the ticket because my uncle is just an ordinary uh, businessman. Now, why am I sharing this, okay? Now, I don't want you to imitate me. This is illegal. You know, in the Philippines, there's a lot of graphic corruption. And uh, in the Philippines, you could get away uh, uh, from the police by bribery or uh, intimidation. So I don't want you to imitate this, this is illegal, okay? And this happened in, in, uh, before my conversion. Uh, but you see here, there's, there's a power in the name, the name of a judge, the name of a chief of police or a general. And if there's power in the name of, of, of these people, how much more there is in the name of Jesus? Jesus is uh, from the Hebrew name Joshua, uh, and it means God saves. And he came to save us from our sin and from death, okay? And uh, uh, in Acts chapter 3, Peter and John, they were going to the temple, and they saw this crippled person. And Peter came to this, went to this crippled person, and he said to him, I have no silver and gold, but I give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. So you see here, there's the power in the name of Jesus to heal, to raise people back to life again and uh, to, from death uh, or to deliver us. So there's a power in the name of Jesus. You know, so maybe at the bottom of uh, this one, write, write down the, the, the meaning of your name. And, and how you are living it out. You know, for me, I, I'm too embarrassed when, when people ask me what's the meaning of my name. The name Kenneth means handsome. And I don't know why my mother gave that to me. I think when I was a baby boy, I was so cute. And uh, my mother would think that when I grow up, uh, I would be handsome. But of course, that didn't happen. And uh, so, uh, but so, that's why people, I would be embarrassed uh, when, when people would call me when they know the, the name of my the, the meaning of my name is Kenneth. They would call me freaking handsome. And uh, so there's, there's also two other persons whose name is very powerful. One is Mary. Okay, Mary, uh, they say uh, when, when the devil would hear the name of Mary, they would fly away. They would, they would flee. Joseph also is very powerful because Joseph is the terror of demon. That's why for those parents out there, this is the first... It, prayer that you could teach your, your, your children. At a very young age, before you teach them our Father, Hail Mary, teach the simple prayer of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I know St. Andre Bisset, uh, as a young boy, that's the first prayer he learned. And you could also teach this prayer to elderly people uh, who's having problem with their memory. I remember going to a, a nursing home to hear confession and to uh, administer the anointing of the sick. Uh, this 98-year-old woman is having problems with her memory. So as a penance, I just gave her this simple prayer. Just say, Jesus, Mary, Joseph. And imagine if you die saying that prayer. It's as if you're going to die in the arms of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. That's why in every video that I make, I always end with a prayer of entrustment, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, 
we trust in you. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.